because when they say they can say it was uh, my fun. I'm a mother of 48 years old. I'm a community activist. I am also the founder of an organization called Mothers for Justice, and I wear a few hats, including being the deputy chairperson of the Manenberg CPF. Um, I could be fortunate today to understand more about um, this whole employment thing that government is wanting to implement. Let me say it, wanting to implement, and if they should succeed in that. It is so devastated what is going to happen, especially to us as colored women, because I think this is going to affect us mostly. Our colored people is laying on the pavement without hope because of social illnesses. Um, our colored men, they find their way to go onto corners and sell whatever they can sell in order to survive. And at this point, um, most of the households, most of our houses and the kids depends on us as mothers because we are the sole supporters in most of the time. Um, sometimes there is men, yes, we still have good colored men, but most of the time it is the mothers, it is us as females that our kids depend on to put a plate of food on the table to make sure they go to school, get the education. So what government is doing to us, it's not normal. And we need to do something about it. I, myself as a colored a female, as a community, activists and I'm standing up for all all the females out there. We want to ask government, where is public participation in this situation? But government should know, they should look at this and they should come into our communities in Manenberg, Heidefeld, Pontyville, Alsis, Bishop Labors, and so I can go on and over Park, Mitchell's plan and you must come see who is the sole supporters, mostly the sole supporters in our house households. It is your females that you are saying today that will not get equal opportunity again. Thank you so much.